Welcome to the SEC Forms Feature Presentation. In this video, we will be discussing the transition from Form NMFP to Form NMFP-1. On April 14th, the SEC will no longer accept Form NMFP. In its stead, money market funds will be filing an updated version of the form, Form NMFP-1. Much of the form data remains the same. Some fields, such as shadow pricing information, have been removed. Other new data, like legal entity identifiers and weekly values for the month being reported, is now being collected. Let's take a quick look at Form NMFP1 in GoFiler. The interface for Form NMFP1 is essentially the same in GoFiler as the old Form NMFP. You can see that the organization of the form is slightly different. We have new item numbers. New categories. Here you can see an example of the new data being collected for each Friday during the month reported. And finally, there's also a new signature page. In getting started, you'll probably want to migrate your data from your existing form NMFP to the new form NMFP1. In GoFiler, we've provided a tool to migrate data from form NMFP to form NMFP1. You can still open and edit the old form NMFP, but you won't be able to file it. As you can see here, there's a new Upgrade button on the Submission Information page. If I have an old NMFP and want to update, I can click this button. Because some of the data fields are different, I'm not going to get information on all the NMFP1 fields, but most of the data will automatically be moved to the new form. This is because there's not a one-for-one -one match between the fields of the old form and the fields of the new form. Because of this, after updating the form, we recommend that you review the data carefully. Now let's move on to importing data into Form NMFP1. If I was previously collecting my data from an external source and importing it into Form NMFP, I can do the same thing for Form NMFP1. There are tools to import CSV data as well as XML data from other filings. These tools are right here on the Import menu. The only significant change here is that, for CSV and Excel files, the headings are going to be slightly different. A benefit of the SEC's reorganization of this form is that all the data fields now have associated item numbers, so I can strictly use the item numbers for importing. Let's move on to the final section, Validating, Proofing, and Filing. As with Form NMFP, I can validate my filing, prove it to HTML, or print it to PDF. I can also perform a submission as a test filing or as a live filing. As a side note, the first live filing for Form NMFP1 is due Friday, May 6, 2016. If you have any questions or comments, or would like to see the Form NMFP1 tools available in GoFiler Complete and GoMFP, please contact sales at sales at NovaWorksSoftware.com or technical support at support at NovaWorksSoftware.com or call 585-424-1700. Thanks for watching.